Hey guys, Joshua Lefemi here in beautiful Brisbane, Australia. In a past video, I showed you that in 2022, it's possible to rotoscope 10 seconds of seven dancers dancing, shout out to BTS, with only two clicks. And for the purpose of this video, I'm defining rotoscoping as the cutting out of a moving image out from its background. Being able to rotoscope 10 seconds of seven dancers dancing with only two clicks is simply crazy. And it would have been unimaginable even five years ago when I first started dabbling in the professional post-production world. I wanna tell you a really quick story about nine tutorials that I've made on the channel over the course of almost five years. Each of these tutorials at the time were teaching state-of-the-art rotoscoping skills, but the crazy progression of tech soon made a great majority of these tutorials absolutely obsolete. You'll see how crazy this is in a sec. Not that long ago, masking was literally the only way to cut out footage. It would have normally taken about five hours to roto out 10 seconds of complex footage of say just one person dancing. I made tutorial number one about it, see, about four years ago. Then what happened? This random software called Mocha Pro came out with some really impressive masking software, but it was so expensive, which made it inaccessible to many creatives. The Roto Brush tool then came out within After Effects. It was After Effects' first attempt to automate the masking process. It kind of sucked though, but had a small edge over manual masking in After Effects. If you had like a really, really fast computer. Then Roto Brush 2 came out and boy, was it incredible. It was literally the biggest update to After Effects in a very long time. And it got people freaking excited. It was just so intelligent and easily 10 times faster than any alternative at the time. I think I did like five tutorials on the channel about it and people literally couldn't believe what they were seeing. Using Rotobrush 2 brought the rotoscoping time of that same 10 second clip of that one dancer dancing from five hours to potentially 10 to 30 minutes. Then what happened? Along came Runway. I made three tutorials on Runway. Runway, which I mentioned at the very top of this tutorial, is a web browser-based AI-powered roto tool that allows me to roto out, I kid you not, like I said before, 10 seconds of seven dancers. Yes, I said seven dancers in literally two seconds with just a couple of clicks. All right, so I've told you about nine random tutorials that I've made. What does this have anything to do with video editing becoming obsolete? I'll tell you right after this quick message. Type three Zs in the comments if you're sitting in front of your computer right now, editing instead of hanging out with your girlfriend, going out to the park with your kids, spending time with your family, you know the important things. Now guys, what is that secret to keeping your video editing schedule within normal working hours of nine to five while still wowing your clients with quality work in minimal time? The answer is Premiere Pro and After Effects templates. Our channel sponsor Envato Elements is a subscription service that I use like literally every day to download literally thousands of digital products like title packs, lower thirds packs, stock footage, sound effects, and all sorts of effects packs to take advantage of the skill of veteran motion designers and products that I'm able to then tweak and make my own. Why would I spend two hours of my valuable time that I could be spending with my fam to designing lower thirds? When Envato Elements has like a list of a hundred quality lower thirds packs that are actually made by professionals that I can then choose from. Guys, if you click on the link below and only in the link below, you can get your first month of Envato Elements at 70% off. This is a deal that you don't want to miss. All right, let's get back to the video. Isn't it interesting that there's so many manual aspects of video editing, like we've been talking about previously in this video, rotoscoping, that have gone the path of AI. Now this begs the question, is video editing as we know it eventually going to become obsolete? Will the progression of technology eventually automate the editing process to the point where it leaves us as video editors as useless dinosaurs of an age bygone? Before I would say that AI would never progress to the point of taking over the creative side of video editing, I believe the AI would continue to simply take over the menial, non-creative tasks that we all hate and actually take time from our, our ability to be creative. I'm talking about things like rotoing, footage stabilization, and the like. But with the incredible progression that I've seen even in those fields, and with the introduction of mind-blowing tech like the new Dolly 2 neural network by OpenAI, I've given up trying to predict the future. Remember what the Olufemi channel's mantra has always been since the beginning. It's that the often mysterious beauty of all great art can always be broken down into an elemental process. This theoretically would mean that there is an algorithmic solution that could be implemented through AI to automate literally any previously untouchable bio-based creative video editing process. I wanna go back and explain Dolly 2 real quick because it's amazing. Dolly 2 is an online-based AI system that creates realistic images simply from text 
and so much more. We've literally got to the point guys where graphic designers are going to start losing jobs. Dolly 2 is able to realistically edit and retouch photos. It can fill in and replace an entire part of an image with AI generated imagery that generates seamlessly with the original image. It can also take an original image as an input and automatically create different variations of it with different angles and styles. And as they say in their actual video on the website, its intelligence not only allows it to understand individual objects like say koalas and motorcycles, but more impressively the relationship between objects. So for example, if you were to ask for an image of a koala riding a motorcycle, it would be able to create a pretty impressive image like so. You can check out Cold Fusion's video about Dolly 2 for a 15 minute deep dive into this incredible technology. So like I said before, guys, my opinion is anything is technically possible when it comes to the potential of AI to completely transform the way we approach increasingly complex creative tasks. I think that the best attitude to take as a creative is to make an intentional decision to keep up with technology and to keep studying new techniques. Check this out. You guys remember there was once a time when video editing equipment, usually crazy expensive software hardware bundles, was only accessible to the elite of the elite. And that barrier of entry gave professionals somewhat of a comfort from market infiltration. Then came Premiere Pro plus After Effects, then Final Cut Pro plus Motion with their affordable $1,000 solely software creative bundles. This opened up the market to a wider range of professionals. Previous professionals could no longer make a living solely knowing basic video editing, but had to learn a little bit of VFX to keep up their creative edge in the market. Then Adobe's Creative Cloud subscription and Apple's new crazy cheap $300 version of Final Cut Pro, aka Final Cut Pro X, brought the price of creativity even lower and open the market up to even more people. You then saw creatives being pushed to learn a little bit of 3D computer graphics software in addition to their video editing and their VFX skills to sustain their edge in the market. Isn't it crazy that each of these stages have brought more intelligent post-production software at a lower price to a wider market of creatives? Guys, are any of you guys old enough to remember when Warp Stabilizer was actually added to Premiere Pro? Then masking, then the Lumetri color panel, then auto reframing, then scene edit detection, then auto captioning, then music remixing. I'm only covering the tip of the iceberg too. Literally each of these added automations of functions relieved us of literally hours of extra work time and learning time. And yes, potentially bulldozed a couple of jobs in the process. And guess what? This is just the beginning. A good friend once told me, when you stop learning, you stop earning. And that's just it. The progression of technology will never stop. AI will continue to get smarter and continue to make previously complex or time-consuming functions less complex and less time-consuming. Your job is learning how to implement that technology before your peers do and to continue to increase your knowledge base past that technology as it attempts to catch up with you. Last story, guys. For years, people in specific countries have offered rotoscoping services for ridiculously low prices on fiber. I'm talking about complex roto jobs on 30 seconds worth of footage that would probably take 12 or more hours to do for prices as low as $30. These roto specialists are able to undercut the rest of the world, I imagine, because of the lower price of living in these specific countries. These same roto specialists now have an interesting opportunity in their hands that will not last forever. As the rest of the creative world is largely still ignorant to new AI-based roto software like Runway that can again roto 30 seconds of complex footage in a mere seconds as opposed to 12 hours, they can then continue to charge the same rate and now use Runway to complete infinitely more more jobs under that same amount of time. The future is bright creative fam. Thanks so much for watching.